Okay, so I am finally ready to henna my hair. I got my mix all together. Um, it's been probably about four hours since I first mixed it, so the dye should be nice and released. Um, and I'm all prepared in here. I'll show you really quick what I have been preparing. I've covered everything in newspaper. I've got my plastic bag, I've got my gloves, and I've got newspaper everywhere. So I am set to go. Oh, really quick, this is my hair naked, I guess. Um, it's almost completely dry. I only shampooed it, I didn't put any conditioner in it just because I want my hair to be as clean as possible before I put the henna on. The good thing about henna is that it is good for your hair. So it, it, it adds color, but that's not really why I, I started doing it. I did this while I was still transitioning um, because it really strengthened my hair at the line of demarcation and that's where the relaxed hair and the natural hair meet and that little line between the two is really fragile so I did like three henna treatments in like two months and that strengthened it a lot and you can't really see anymore but just the ends of my hair probably like that much of my hair is still henna because most of it was relaxed when I did henna before um, and this right here, you can kind of see this weird line of color because I attempted to dye it brown. It didn't work very well and I only did it to the front. And that might explain why my curl pattern is so different up here. I don't know. Oh, it's so dry. Like I feel like I need a deep conditioner, which I will do after the henna, but I just wanted to come and show you my hair. Just washed it, but I used uh, shampoo with sulfates in it because I wanted to ensure that all of the gel and all the serum and all the oil was off of my hair. That way the henna could go on. First of all, henna will dye everything. So I use gloves. I don't really want to mess up my this shirt. So I'm going to put another shirt over it. This is just an old old work shirt. The thing with this is it's good for your scalp so it does not matter if it gets on your scalp because it's so good for it you know I would actually encourage you if you're doing it yourself to allow it to pen it to get onto your scalp. It claims to uh, get rid of dandruff so if you have dandruff that's a good idea. Um, I had an, an itchy, dry scalp, and this definitely helped with that. But this is about to get really messy. This stuff smells like hay. Some people love this smell. I personally am not a huge fan of the way it smells, but Kind of looks like uh, baby food and smells like a barn. <laughs> All right. Just get a good amount. And this is why you have a shirt because It's going to get everywhere. Yeah, that's basically it.
Okay, well, the good thing is I only took 25 minutes to put this on. You don't have to be super neat with it. You just wanna make sure all of your hair has been covered. It's not like when you're doing a box dye or if you used to relax your hair or any kind of chemical service where you have to do it in a certain way. I started from the back because it's how I do most of my hairstyles. And, um, but I mean, you squish it all up. It does make your hair really heavy. Some people sleep in it. You'd only really have to keep it in your hair for a maximum of six hours. Overnight won't hurt your hair, but to achieve the maximum dye, you want to leave it in six hours. I will probably leave it in three and a half hours because I'm on a time crunch and because I can't stand the way this stuff smells. You'll cover it with a plastic bag and then I will probably finish my laundry or whatever else that I'm doing today. As you can see, it has dyed these gloves, so if you were blonde, or if you have blonde hair, like if you dyed your hair blonde, or if you have gray hair, you can expect your hair to look very close to this. Uh, with dark brown hair like I have, it kind of has like an auburn tint, but only in the sun, and it, so it's really subtle. Henna can never lighten your hair, it can never um, damage your hair. The good thing about henna is it is actually good for your hair. It can penetrate into the hair strand and release the color, but you can still color over it. The only thing is it's permanent, but you can still moisturize your hair. Your hair stays incredibly strong and with multiple applications, your hair can thicken. That's what I hear. Um, I would recommend everyone do their own research just to be sure if this is something you wanna do. I will come back after I've rinsed it and deep conditioned it and show you guys the finished product. But until then, I'm just gonna wrap it up.